Relationships can be tricky and sometimes it's difficult to see the red flags, especially when you're caught up in the moment. You know that time you're feeling the butterflies in your stomach. But there are certain behaviors that should make you pause and think. If she does these things I'm about to say in this video, then my brother, you need to cut your losses and run now. Now when you fit, run. Because uh, when you get so entangled, if you know if you come out again, it will be one chance matter. You understand what I mean? So let's get into it. Number one, constant drama. Your relationship is characterized by constant drama and turmoil. See, eh, every relationship has its ups and downs. Agreed, right? But when it's always a constant thing, you know if you do one week with this woman without some form of altercation, disagreement, fight, quarrel, like it's going to drain your energy and i can't even imagine like you're just in a relationship and it feels like this because when i talk about relationship i don't just talk about relationship for people to date indefinitely i don't believe in it i believe in living an intentional life if you're dating a woman or you're going out with that woman it should be because eventually of course you want to marry her and have a life right so imagine when there is constant drama She's always projecting her insecurities, her anger, her anxiety on you. And no matter how much love you show to her, it's almost as if you're not doing anything. See, there's something about showing someone love. When someone does not want to be in your life, when someone does not truly see you the way you see them, you cannot outlove situations like that you cannot outlove a person like that always read the signs read in between the lines don't waste your time and don't have this notion that hey i won't just marry her when i marry her, her head will come down don't make that mistake marriage does not change anybody what it does is like takes off the marks if anybody is pretending with you while they're still dating you or anything once you're married to the person automatically marriage is going to take off the marks and now you're going to be faced with the real person with the real character so if there is constant drama draining your energy you can't have peace of mind one of the things you should feel around a woman and the woman should bring to you is peace of mind you're supposed to feel at home that is one thing every woman should carry so when you're with this woman and there is this conflicting energy, you're not always in the same frequency. It's almost as if you're fighting each other and everything is a trigger. Then maybe she's not the one for you. And this doesn't necessarily mean that she's a bad person. It's just that you're not operating on the same frequency. And sometimes if you stay back and you think that you want to correct these things, you're going to be drawn into it and you might not be able to come out the same again. Right? So you have to read in between the lines, open your eyes. I know she love the shark you, yeah, but still open your eyes and see the red flags. There are some things that you can manage, but you see constant drama, a woman who is always anxious, a woman who is always angry, a woman who is always agitated. She no get peace of mind and a woman. A woman is supposed to be peaceful. When you're with her, you're supposed to feel peace, feel at home, feel at ease. That is what women carry and you don't feel this peace, then think about it. That takes me to number two, lack of empathy. This is another quality that every woman should carry. Like this is a natural thing. Because in order to be a mom, you need to have love for the next person. If you don't have empathy, how is it possible to carry another human being in your body to full time, give birth to this human being, breastfeed this human being feed this person and make sure that this person is okay at all times it takes a lot of empathy and that is one thing that every woman carries so you should always look out for empathy if your woman not to show you empathy my brother run empathy is key if she's not capable of putting your feelings into consideration trying to understand you sometimes and that is lack of empathy and it's a dangerous thing because when you're dealing with someone who does not have empathy, it means that this is a very selfish person. She's always considering her own self, her own need, and she doesn't think about the next person because she can't feel the pain of that person. Lack of empathy is very, very dangerous. Let me give you a typical example. Your babe says she won't attend wedding, right? And she should have been at 250k. And maybe you did give her before. You know, you've been giving to her before. You've been coming through for her. But this time around, you feel like you have other more pressing needs. And, you know, you feel like you can 
put that money into good use and maybe she shouldn't buy that as she'll be. It's not really necessary. And she's taking a stand and insisting that she must buy as she'll be of 250k. This is someone who does not have empathy. She doesn't want to understand your feeling and see the fact that maybe this guy no get this time around or maybe he get all that things he may want to use this money to. You see, when you're dealing with people who don't have empathy, they can be very dangerous beings. I see them as a very dangerous human being. Because they don't, they're not capable of understanding you. People who lack empathy are everywhere. And it doesn't even necessarily have to be a romantic relationship. There are people that don't have empathy. When you cry around them, maybe something is making you quite emotional and you're shedding tears. They'll be looking at you as if, ah, why is this one just crying, crying, crying? They can't feel. They don't have the ability to feel your pain. A human being without empathy is a dangerous human being, especially for a woman. Because women are built to incubate. We are built to carry love, to be warm, to bring people close and make them feel better. So look out for empathy in your woman. And that takes me to the next point, which is when she shows a sign of violence. Ah, my brother, I don't know. You know, there's something about domestic violence. Whenever they talk about anything domestic violence, we just always want to think in the line of fair and a man. Most of these men are brutes. Most of yeah, agreed. Some of them are assholes. Sorry for the word. But you see, eh, some women are violent. Imagine a situation where you're having an argument and the next thing she don't slap, slap your face. Like she's already slapping you, hitting you and breaking things around. She don't break your TV. She don't break your phone. This is a sign of violence. And you know why it's dangerous? It's not like I'm excusing it for a man to be violent. Of course, nobody should be violent. You should be all loving and understanding, right? But when a woman is violent, it's more dangerous because she's going to give birth to children. And most times, before children take character from their father, they first take from their mama. Your child might look like you from head to toe. It's just like, say, you open mouth, ah, it come out. But look at the character. The character, most times... The child will take from the mother. So imagine a woman who is naturally a violent person. Now, now, she don't break but two. Now, now, she don't they do some kind of things. She's going to gift these things to your children. That is why we need to be very, very careful. I am not saying that you should not try and, you know, help people like this. But sometimes, not be you go help them. Sometimes what they need is professional help, not you. When you try to help them, you might be met with stiff opposition. Why? Because... You're supposed to be a lover, not a therapist. So sometimes they just need professional help. Point them in the right direction and my brother, go your way. You know why? There's something about people who have some of these emotional issues. Most times eh, when they heal from this thing, they tend to look around them and they begin to reevaluate everything. And that includes you. She might not want you to be in her life anymore. I'm telling you facts. I've said this in one of my videos before, like when people discover themselves when people change from being bad and becoming better people you know they tend to look at everything because you know why when she attracted you into her life she was that person and now she's not that person anymore do you think she might still want to have you in her life think about it so these are the most dangerous things you should look out for in a woman also a woman who is very very dishonest she's always lying she tell you a a don't turn b by night and by the next day, B don't turn C. You know, she can't even keep track of the things she says. My brother, these things is not just about you and the relationship. It's about your children and the generation to come. Because like I said, you're not just dating for dating sake, right? Life should be lived with intentionality. So if you're going after a woman because you just want to sleep with her or you just want to knock, that's a total waste of time and waste of energy, waste of resources waste of everything good and i also believe this is the reason why some people end up with you know the people that they did not intend to be with in their life because initially when you're going after this woman you were not looking at the right things you were looking at what you wanted at that time and what you wanted was just to knock and go and now like you're so deep into it that you're beginning to see some things and it's as if it's difficult to pull away from it so these are the things we should look out for in a relationship especially when it's a woman when it comes to men, of course, there are so many things a woman has to look out for. But I'm talking about women. And from a woman's perspective, I'm telling you that these are some of the most dangerous red flags you should be wary of and you should run away from as fast as your legs can carry you. 
Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like, consider subscribing. And if you're new here, you're welcome to this channel. My name is Wendy Zil, and I'm glad you saw my video today. Thank you so much. Stay blessed and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.